analog communication introduction communication is the process of establishing connection or link between two points for information exchange in our day to day life we come across many ways of communication for communication to uh, take place there are three essential things that must be present one is sender or transmitter sender or transmitter a communication channel and a receiver so first chapter is introduction to communication system so here we have the block diagram of the basic communication system uh, and we have three uh, main uh, blocks sender or transmitter receiver and a communication channel so this is called as sender okay and this is the receiver block and the center part is channel which is also called as communication channel okay so what uh, the sender or transmitter it's nothing but it sends information for example if the man is speaking okay so the audio whatever he is talking will be collected by a source so he is talking in a mic so this mic will be uh, kept as a source okay this captures the uh, man's voice and this voice is transmitted using a transmitter block okay so this transmitter helps in transmission of the audio signals and while transmission it not only sends the signals it also sends a uh, message signal plus a carrier signal to for the signal to pass to the channel okay so this channel is nothing but it is the part uh, through which the signal propagates from the transmitter to the receiver okay so in the receiver part is nothing but it's na it receives the signal uh, where, uh, where the channel transmits the receiver uh, receives a, uh, receives or receives the signal okay uh, so uh, for example all the tvs or radios are, are nothing but re receivers okay so the man is speaking so whatever uh, he is talking will be uh, receptor or uh, received by a receiver it's nothing but here we are using a speaker so speaker is the receiver okay so next is for a communication to take place uh, these are the essential things okay and these three transmitter or a talker receiver or listener and channel or the transmission medium the above three things are present in any communication system when are two people are talking with each other it becomes a communication system in that case the voice signal is exchanged and the transmission medium is a air the source uh, generates uh, the message to be transmitted the transmitter or talker uh, sends that message over the transmission channel the transmission channel can be a medium such as electric conductors air or light the receiver or listener receives the message from the transmission uh, transmission channel it is then given to the dis uh, de destination by the receiver during a transmission is over the channel uh, to the channel is over the message message is distorted and it becomes noisy so what is the necessity of a transmitter and receiver so why does the source does not speak directly to the des destination or directly so uh, we already know that source cannot speak to the destination directly so for example uh, just consider this example of a tv okay the programs are generated by shooting the objects to camera that are stored in a videotape thus the program to be broadcasted is stored in on the videotape initially and this means the source of information is a videotape the people the, who watch that program or a te, on the television uh, is nothing but they are called as destination uh, of the program like here the, the, our destination is people watching the program okay but the people cannot watch the program recorded on the videotape directly the tape is broadcasted on some tv channel by the TV broadcasting uh, station or satellite. So the television set then receives this uh, channel and people can watch the program on the TV set. Thus for the signal to be transmitted over the long distance. 
the TV broadcasting station is essential and, and to receive the signals which are present in the air. TV set is essential. In this communication system, TV broadcasting station is a transmitter and the TV set is a receiver. Okay, the transmitter is required to make a signal suitable for conduction over the channel and receiver is required to convert the signal from transmission channel make suitable for destination.